It's Countdown to Christmas Episode 2. And today I wasn't sure really what to do, so I wrote a poem and I called it My Christmas Wish List. And I wanted to share it with you. My Christmas wish list can't be bought in a store because my Christmas wish list is so much more. What I want can't be found under the tree because Santa can't bring it to me. The main thing I want is a cure because I'm tired of people's future being so unsure. Cancer has changed my world in more ways than I can count. If money would buy a cure, I would pay for it no matter the amount. I have seen children die a slow and painful death, and it breaks my heart to see them take their very last breath. They are so young and have so much to give. They deserve to live and grow and have kids of their own, but for a reason unknown, God decided to call them home. Cancer almost took the woman I love so much. Cancer almost took the woman I love so much, I almost lost my mom. You see, we have been there for each other from the very start, and I knew if I lost her, it would do more than break my heart. We lived day to day as best as we could. But the way we had to live, no one should. Constant chemo, radiation, sickness, and the looming fear of death, and never knowing if or when would be her, if or when could be her last breath. This is why a cure is what is, is what we so desperately need. So no other families have to live day by day, hour by hour, wondering, watching, and waiting, waiting to see what the cancer will bring. This is no life. Lit. This is no life having to live to cling to every moment like it's your last. So, this is my Christmas wish list. Please remember the things that matter the most because one day they will all be gone in the blink of an eye and you will be left to carry on. And that is my poem. And as you can probably tell from my other videos childhood cancer and cancer in general are something that is very close to me because of my mom being diagnosed almost five years ago but I didn't really understand childhood cancer until I met Talia Castellano and I thank her for sharing her story with the world and that is why we need a cure because no child should have to die so soon Every child deserves the right to grow up and live and be happy and have a family of their own. Like, for instance, just today, a 12-year-old girl named Ella Barna, I think is how you pronounce her last name, died, and she'd been fighting cancer since she was 8 years old, and she died this morning. But, she might have lost the battle, but cancer didn't win the war. And I know she's up in heaven right now looking down on all of us, so please keep her family in your prayers. And that's it for episode two. I will see you Friday. Bye.